You can also process out multiple files at once inside of Adobe Photoshop Elements. So to do that, you need to go around onto the file menu and over here you can see process multiple files is an option. If I were to go around and click right here, then here you see an option to process the files from open files or folder. In my case, I don't have open files, so I'm just going to go around and select folder for the example. So over here, what you can do is you can select a source from where you want to take the files. So I'm going to go around onto browse right here and I'm going to go to my YouTube drive right here where I have a folder uh, right here called photo collection. So I'm just going to select it and click on OK right here, just like this. And here you can select a destination to be same as source or you can go around and click on browse to select out a different uh, option right here. So I'm going to go to desktop and create a new folder right here and name it as uh, photo uh, process photos right here processed photos just like this. So this is what you have and I'm going to select this. So I'm just going to go around and select it press OK and that is selected as you can see. So now once that is done you can go around over here rename out the files as well. So I want to rename out the files as document name itself, whatever it may be. And I'm going to go around and add in a four digit serial number. You can also add in date or extension as you can see right here according to how you want. But I'm just going to go around and keep a four digit serial number at the end so that this will be the rename file. If you want your image to be cross compatible, then you can go around and then choose different operating systems that you want it to be compatible with as well. Mac OS is um, uh, one compatibility you may want and if you want it to be compatible with Linux systems then you can choose Unix right here just like this. So now I'm just going to keep it as it is and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around onto a resize image right here. So in resize image I'm going to constrain the proportion and let's say what I want is I want the width of the photo to be uh, 640 pixel right here. It'll calculate the height accordingly and uh, generate out the pixel according to uh, the requirement as constant proportion is turned on. You can go around and choose the file type. So let's say I want to convert out all the file type into JPEG max quality right here just like this. And over here you can do quick fixes like let's say I want to enable auto level, contrast, color and sharpen. You can enable that out and you can also go around and add in caption right here just like this. And in caption you can add in file name, description or date modified right here and keep it in bottom left and so forth. But I'm just going to go around and keep watermark and let's say I want the watermark to be to the tube right here. So you can choose the position of the watermark. So this is going to be bottom left. So let me keep it bottom right. You can choose the uh, 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 font right here just like this and change around the font size as well and you can change around the opacity level as well. For the color let me just go around and keep let's say white color right here just like this and once you're happy with all of the um, uh, settings you can go around and press OK. So once you do that what happens is that all of the photos will be opened up one by one and it'll be processed out and the processing has been completed. So if I were to go around onto the process photos right here, then this is what you have as you can see. So this is but 0001. So this is the four digit uh, name that is, uh, that is generated. The auto contrast and everything has been applied and you can see that the uh, uh, size has been 640 pixel on the top and you can see that the watermark has been added as due to tube on all of them as well. And that is how you can go around and then process out multiple files at once inside of Adobe Photoshop Elements. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.